Hey guys, what's up? It's Mark from GiraffeNet Gaming coming at you today with a special video, a thank you video. You guys have been so crazy since MLB 17 has come out and we have hit 5,000 subs on the channel. Now, I'm recording this video right now at midnight on Thursday, so that would be Friday, 12.01 a.m. And we're at like five and a half thousand, so who knows where we'll be when we upload this, but you guys have been crazy with the support, the likes, the comments, the subs. I really do appreciate you've made this comeback to YouTube and MLB 17, the show, absolutely seamless. It's been very enjoyable for me, especially since I disappeared and kind of didn't tell anybody where I was for like two or three months. So I decided that it would be a good way for me to show my thanks by uploading my recruiting video. So this is the video that I sent to colleges so they can see me if they didn't come out to games to watch me. Now, I talk about baseball at a very high level a lot when it's on Twitter, on streams, in comment sections, stuff like that. Uh, I played at a very high level in high school. I played for an elite club team in New Jersey and I could have played D3 in New Jersey, but I, basically didn't want to. I wanted to be able to, one, have the full college experience, and two, I was thinking outside of baseball further on in my life, and I wanted to go far away, which is why I went to the University of South Carolina. Now, I wish I could have played baseball here, but, you know, they've deemed I wasn't good enough, which I think I was, but then again, you know, who wants a 5'9 outfielder who doesn't hit home runs, isn't fast, and doesn't have a cannon, but that's not, that's not the point of this video. We're not going to talk about what happened in the past. We're going to react to my recruiting video. So I'm gonna pop in the headphones, we're gonna watch it, I'm gonna talk over it every once in a while, we're gonna pause it, we're gonna break down some things. I really hope you guys do enjoy this. If you do, make sure to smash the like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of my skills. If you have any questions about baseball, I'm gonna be going through all the comments like I always do. And you can also hit me up on Twitter, at GiraffeNeckMark. I'm more than happy to help you guys with some baseball tips or anything that you have baseball related. So enough of that chit chat. Let's watch my recruiting video. Here we go, boys. Hey, in the, in the backyard, in the backyard. Oh, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of personal information that's going to be blacked out. You guys are not going to see that. A lot of cell phones and names on there. And yes, here's the song. Oh, is this No Beef? Steve Aoki? My goodness, look at that swing. I'm just going to pause it real quick. First, first couple things to just mention here. One, this was edited and created all by me, so the quality may not be the best. But uh, this was on an iPad that this was shot, so it looks pretty decent, honestly. And for some recruiting videos that I've seen, it's probably one of the better ones. I mean, I've seen some god-awful. Maybe the music's a little too loud, which I agree with. I think it's a little too loud, but I think it's pretty decent. But look at this swing. Look at that swing. Look at that front leg just being completely... Oh, that's exactly what you want when you're hitting. You want it to be straight up and down so you get that full rotation. You get all that weight coming forward. Oh, that's fantastic. That back knee is getting driven into the ground. And that finish. It's like I was dabbing before dabbing was cool. That was my finish. Just, the dab. <laughs> that is cringy. Oh, yeah. So, like I said, I really wasn't a power hitter. I hit singles and doubles. So, I think it's going to switch to another angle. And you'll see more so where the ball's being hit. Right after this, actually. I remember exactly now. Right after. That's a great swing. My God, that's a good swing. Yeah, so everything's up the middle. Right side, when I did pull the ball, that's when I hit for power. Um, but I really was just, that wasn't ever my goal while I was playing. It was just to get hits and get on base. I wasn't supposed, I wasn't there to hit home runs. This is actually shot my varsity field and there's my dad, Big Mark, throwing the best BP, the dude's the best BP thrower ever. So good, so good. So this is my varsity field, it's a piece of crap, honestly. It looks nice, but it's not, trust me. And the field here, you got, let me pause it again real quick. Oh, look at that finish. Look at that finish. That's so pretty. That's pretty. But left field was 320. Right field was like 320. The gaps were ridiculous. The gap in like left center was like 360 something, 370 something. Right center was 390. And center field was like 416. And for a high school field, that's absurd. So yeah, I was really good at going opposite field. That was really easy for me. I guess that's it for hitting now. Now we're on to fielding. And you see me squinting. It's because I can't throw a baseball anymore, guys. I, uh, I bummed, I just, I dislocated my shoulder at one point. I have a very high tolerance for pain and I never knew it. And I just kept throwing and throwing and because it was dislocated and loose, 
it was jarring out there. And if you actually were to put your hand on my shoulder and I go like this, you can feel it just jumbling around in there. And when you're throwing, it's obviously moving. And it was rubbing up against my rotator cuff so much. Boom, boom, boom. To the point now where my senior year of high school, I only DH because I couldn't throw a baseball. Like, I'll put on a video real quick of me throwing with my dad the other day just because I'm really trying to work on getting my arm to look like I can throw a baseball again. But as you can see, I can't. So, it's a little painful for me to watch myself be able to throw so normally here and without any pain. But, you know, these are the good old days. This is a... Uh, this is when Mark was killing it playing baseball. Some gross backhands. My dad having a little bit of trouble getting some speed on them. But, oh my God. I may have not had the best arm, but now not being able to throw a ball, I miss it. I miss not having the best arm, because I have no arm now. Oh, look at that backhand, so slow. You don't know how much pain I'd be in if I tried to make this throw right now. Oh. So I did third base because that was like my secondary position. I was really mainly an outfielder. So, you know, third base I would say I was pretty average. Nothing spectacular, but I made plays. And the outfield, you see 416. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. But outfield was definitely my main position. That's what I would have played in college had I chose to continue my playing career. That academia glove, though, sexy. Loved it. Oh, oh to throw a baseball like that, what I would give. What I would give to be able to throw a baseball like that. Just bringing up the feels. Oh, man, I wish I wish I could play baseball again. Look at look at that. 396 in right center field. Not fun. Not fun as a hitter. Pitchers loved it. But fielders and hitters were just like, damn, this place is huge. Oh, gotta show, gotta show off the ground. You never know when you're gonna get ground ball in the outfield. Look at this, look at this crow hop. Whoop bam! Throwing that, that wasn't even a good crow hop for me. I used to do like get get up. Two hands, Mark. Stop using one hand, you lazy bastard. Oh, oh, a little spin. I'm liking the spin in this video, I guess. Did it on the ground balls too. Can't imagine there's much more of the outfield coming up. So I can even tell with the song. The song is like starting to, to wind down. Oh. oh, I wish I could throw. I wish I could throw. I'm, I'm gonna say this is the last throw here, is it? Yeah, it is. Wow, that's good, that's good. And we're gonna blur out that information as well. So, that's my recruiting video, guys. Mark Lino, class of 2014. So I'm now 21 years of age. Old man, right? Old man. Outfield, infield, 60 yard dash time was 7.02. Now, that's not fast, but that's not like ridiculously slow to put in perspective. Dustin Pedroia ran a 7.1, so similar to Dustin Pedroia. I'm not saying I'm as good as him, but similar speed wise. Mike Trout ran like a 6.2 or 6.3 or something. So that's elite speed. I wasn't fast. I was a good base runner, but not fast. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, watching this man makes me, uh, makes me wish I uh, never stopped playing baseball, but I'm happy with the decisions I made and where I am in life. Lesson of this story in the video, guys. Just keep playing. Keep playing. This is such a great sport. Don't ever give it up. I wish I could keep playing, but my shoulder, but we're going to keep trying. We're going to keep trying to fix it and get back to being able to maybe just play in an adult league. I don't even care. I can't do softball. I ain't about that life. Not yet. Not yet. I got to become fat for that. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for 5K subs. I hope you guys like this. If you did, make sure to leave a like. 5K subs, man. That's pretty awesome. Hit that subscribe button and we'll keep on climbing and climbing and doing more special videos like this. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Like I said, if you have any questions or if you ever want to talk baseball, you can leave them in the comment section below and I always answer comments as well as you can tweet me at DraftNeckMark and I'm more than happy to answer tweets, guys. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not really much else to say. Thank you guys so much for the support you've made coming back to MLB so much, well, so enjoyable. It's It's been a good good way to come back, especially because I just disappeared randomly, which again, let's just forget about that. Let's forget about that. And yeah, enough rambling on. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.